super nice uh, that you are a semi-finalist yeah. for the LVMH prize. Impressive, huh? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel uh, stressed, yeah. but excited, a bit nervous. Yes. In the beginning, it's quite a surprise, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I can imagine. So you're the semi-finalist now. What looks did you bring to showcase the aesthetic of Jiangsu? Uh, most of the looks I bring here is the key look of these collections. Yeah. Um, it's uh, like this one. It's, as you guys know, it's full of um, all the craftsmanship inside these fabrics, the hand twist wall, and the upcycling fibers, and the yarn dye in our own in house dye atelier. Yeah. yeah, and of course, the, the vintage lining in for every season. Yeah. yeah, and so, uh, so yeah. You, you told me about the, the in house atelier? Yes. What, what, what are you do producing there? Uh, we do the young dye and the natural dye and the indigenous people will do the hand waving in the same place. Okay. So when the young dye is finished, they will put it on the machine and keep doing the hand waving wow. in the process. Yeah. So everything happens in the atelier? Yeah, right? yeah. And actually, it's a reason I can control the costing and the production time because I employed all of the artisans. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So, I didn't know that. Actually. So that's why um, I want to, uh, in my main concept, I want to keep this precious uh, the craftsmanship into the uh, fashion industry and make it wearable, affordable, not just in the museum or on the website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, so that is basically the hidden secret yeah. behind you. So, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. The, the point is uh, in heritage. Yeah. yeah. So you, you pay homage to the culture and you spread it through the world. It, yes, exactly, exactly. Yes, oh, yes. That's awesome. Yeah. So can you tell me more about some pieces that you're excited about for the scene? Um, for this one, yeah. Um, these trousers. Um, it sells very well in these seasons because it's vintage fabric already from 1960 Nagoya. Oh, wow. And we also collect uh, vintage lace from Taiwan and we hand stitch it together and dye it together to create this special color. And due to the, the, the fiber is different, so you can see the color is different, oh, but yeah. it's in the same dye material. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's quite our, the whole universe inside this process. That's yeah. amazing. You explain it very well. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So it's a natural dye. Yeah. What um, what dye did you use? Did you use a fruit or? or um, like? It's called bloodwood tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got the yeah the bloodwood tree is um, exclusive in Asia. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. The the color is like um, the dark red or purple. Yeah. The lotus, I think. Yeah. 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 So you use that to dye the, and then you get all these different types of colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's another one I would like to introduce is this one. It's an indigo dye by ourselves in a different level. So you can see the swatches yeah. in a different level of indigo dye. And we hand knit it together as a fabric. So, wow. and we produce in this um, garment. Okay, so if I translate it correctly, you indigo dyed several pieces of fabrics, yes. then you hand knitted those fabrics together to make the fabric. one big fabric, yeah. and then you made the, the piece out of it. Yes, yes, yes. So it took a lot of time of these pieces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. And which means it's not very cheap. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. And it's very delicate as well. Indeed. And this is wool that you're using? Here? Yeah, wool and uh, alpaca. Alpaca, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I see because the, um, yeah, it's, it's the alpaca, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. I feel it directly, yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Indeed, indeed, yes. Okay, and then I wanted to, to check this piece still. So this is more like a, this is okay. a suit, right? Yeah, this is the suit uh, for the trousers and for the blazer too, the yeah. patchwork trousers. Uh, we hand waving the uh, organic cotton, which are yeah. uh, planted by the um, Taiwanese indigenous people. Yeah, they harvest by themselves, they hand twist into the cotton fiber by themselves, and they hand wave it into the fabric. Wow. So everything is like circling, yeah, yeah planted to, Full circle. yeah, from the very, very beginning, yes. So it looks, um, I, I would say it looks commercial, but it took a lot of works yeah. and craftsmanship inside these pieces. That's yeah. the beauty of it, you need to, um, know what you're actually seeing. Yeah. The moment that you know it, it becomes way more yes, mesmerizing. Yes. Because yes, like yes. all the other fabrics that you probably see here are fabrics that are probably sourced. Yeah. Um, and you're actually developing the fabric from literally the plant. Yeah, in, yeah. exactly, yes. Yeah. Wow, 
I've had. Suit is incredible. It's one of my favorite too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. Nice. No, that's okay. So, if you would win the LVMH prize, yeah, what would you do? I'm so scared of these questions, but um, I will build up my hand waving atelier because yeah. uh, I have to make a responsibility for my for those elder indigenous people. Yeah. yeah, and the most important part is in heritage. So I want them to find and teach more young artisans to make the in heritage done. Yeah, yeah, to teach them how to wave in the fabric, how precious of this craftsmanship and build up these productions so we can make more indigenous people and yeah, make this heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Make so, it make, make this done, yeah. Yeah. So you want to be like a, an inspiration for others to get into the industry, to build the exactly. industry. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. That's a very, very nice vision from yeah. you on the brand. It's basically your mission. Your mission yes. is to build the industry and Well yeah, it's like a dream, but it's yeah. close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's incredible, man. That's, yeah. that's very inspiring. Thank you so much. Michael, um, I'm really happy for you. I uh, appreciate it. And thanks for your guys for supporting. Yes, yeah, yeah. as always. Yes, of course, yes. Of course. We love what you're doing, and I think um, yeah. this is just a testament to the work that you have been doing the past few years. Yeah. The fact that you are with artisanal fashion, a niche that is pretty underground, that you are in a um, LVMH yeah. that, that says something about the industry and I feel like that's really nice. So okay. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Awesome. Thank you.